That happens sometimes. People are like, we'll get all of it. Ringo. 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 And put a bit of time in Africa and the Middle East. Thank you. I don't hey. know. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? You got like a Phillips head screwdriver? I must have taken mine home. Go with the tool, tool cabinet. Two dollars an hour. It's all yours. Looks like mine too. Probably is yours. <laughs> Even sold some Conrad's. I can't believe that. I know. I'm going to try and give it back if I can. Slicer. That's what I saw. Bean slicer. Who would have thought? Who would have thought somebody would like to buy some of the slices of beans? Okay. You never know. It's good stuff. Sure it is. Better believe it. Did you go to the bank? I did. <laughs> I had to go to the bank and get everything out of the bank. Is it a safety deposit box? Or? Two safety deposit boxes. Safety deposit. Yep. And I'm really glad I did it, Mike, because the um, I decided to do it. I talked with the real estate agent, and at that point, I thought it was going to be like two weeks, you know, that we were going to be closed. I didn't know it was going to be prolonged. Huh, two weeks? And when I talked, I called him. I thought, you should just call him and find out. And I called him and he said, well, is the building going to be vacant? And I said, yeah, kind of. And so he said, well, then you should really move it. And a week after that, and then we went up to Maine, a week after that, uh, they sent out letters saying you have to. It was a good idea. Yeah, well, it just worked out. That way nobody has to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love the door open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Okay, so when I was a kid, you know, uh, my brothers and I, we all slept in uh, one room, and it was like a wall-to-wall -wall bed, and we used to, um, you know, sort of beat each other up on the bed, and eventually the legs fell off the bed, and they were replaced with uh, a 1938 edition of something called the New American Encyclopedia, and about like four or five volumes of each, you know, then held up the bed for the rest of time. So if your bed breaks, you got three more books to put under there. Right, right. I Very nice. Books to put under there. Very nice. Well, thank you for your purchase, sir. All thank right. you for your okay. in-store pickup. Okay. Don't you have a store down in Westchester somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I have a store in Mount Vernon. Yeah. Sell little beds and stuff. Oh, yeah? yeah. Where in Mount Vernon are you? Uh, it's on 4th Avenue. That's the main drag. Oh, yeah? yeah. So you guys reopening soon? Yeah, we opened uh, this week, uh, curbside pickup, but uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Happy to be back in business. Absolutely. It's been a long That's dry spell. Right. Yeah, an unwanted vacation, right? Unwanted vacation, un yeah. un unwanted and unexpected. What's the name of the store? Dynamo. Dynamo? Yes. I gotta go down and check it out. I wish you would. Man. That's in Yonkers? Mount Vernon. Oh, Mount Vernon, I'm sorry, yeah. We use all the, all the help we can get. <laughs> all right, we'll get down there. I look forward to it. Yeah. It's good to see you again, Marty. Marty, you're an, an old Bronx man. Yes, I am. You got the same accent I got. Kingsbridge Road. Yeah. 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 Dewitt Clinton High School. Money out of Best place. This is my kooky business partner, Rich. Rich, say hello. Hey, John. <laughs> yeah. 
he's here to uh, check on things making sure we're using proper mitigation in the store making sure we're adhering to all the laws <laughs> I've known Rich uh, since uh, we've we've known each other since what seventh grade? seventh grade and now we're in freshman in high school but we've known each other about four years already <laughs> So that's Rich. He's a uh, co-owner of the store. And Georgie. Well, we have another owner George who's Brown. in Las Vegas. I might have to fly out there and film him. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I'm going to just check on some customers that are here to pick up some items in store. Just pick up. Make sure to wear a mask. Just pick up. Just talking to Rich and he pointed out this awesome ship that's in the Grey Ghost Antique booth which is the first booth on your left as you come in the store. It's pretty impressive. I've been staring at it all weekend and figured I'd let you guys see it too. Yes. How much is it, Rich? $125. Oh, that's a steal, man. Price. That's a steal at that price. I'm you serious. Just, you cannot. So I gave her a goof. It's Sue's daughter, Erica. She's purchasing something of Sue. Here's Sue. Oh, hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. There you go. Day. A lovely day at the antique center here. Sidewalk sale. Curbside pickup. I heard you went to an estate sale recently. Actually, it was a moving sale, but it was similar. It was very exciting. First sale I've been to this year. Actually, no, second. Because I went to that one with you right before the shutdown. Well, that was my sale. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good sale. It's in your blood. It's in my blood, yes. What'd you live, live for? for? Yes, exactly. That's, what said. That's really interesting. Well, that was Sue expounding on her. Things that make me excited. Things that make her excited. Mainly antiquists. Yeah, so it was a successful day. Yes. A couple of dozen people came in to pick up items in the store which yes. we're allowed to do in phase one. Very successful. And we had some sales out on the curb today. The weather cooperated greatly. Perfect weather. Huh? Perfect. So I think we've earned a uh, fine alcoholic beverage today. Yes, yes we have. We did good. Responsible drinking. Seems like a lot of people were dying to get out of the house today. Yeah. Weather could not have been better. Yeah. I see uh, Lilver Cafe is setting up some tables outside today. So you can have an alcoholic beverage while you wait for your food. Or a non-alcoholic beverage. I'm sure they'll scrounge one of them up for you too. <laughs> what does it say on their sign over there? Now serving frozen raspberry vodka lemonade? Yeah. Wow. I can barely read it. But and mango. Platypus mangoes? Mango. mango. Mango something. Margarita? to go on something. Yeah, I think it's mango margarita. I wasn't so tired, I'd walk over there and read it. But, but you zoom in with your camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>